Hi, I'm Ollie. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the Flexi Shield case for the Nexus 4. This is the uh, the case itself, available in a few different colours. This one's a smoke effect, so you can see some of the design of the Nexus 4 through the back. We'll just pop it on. I'll show you. So you can see there, you can see the LG logo and also Nexus. Unfortunately, you can't see the uh, the nice pattern that runs over the back of the Nexus 4. Uh, there's the camera cut out. I'm not massively keen on the kind of square cut out. It'd be nice if they tried to uh, to round it a little bit, I think. That's the cut out there for the loudspeaker. You've got the cutouts at the bottom, so you've still got access to the micro USB port, also the microphone, obviously when making calls. The power button's pressed through, uh, through the case itself, but that works absolutely fine. Easy access to the 3.5mm headphone jack, so you can use any headphones in there without an issue. There's the uh, cutout for the noise cancelling microphone. So it's a few millimetres thick, so you're getting some drop protection. Obviously the uh, the back's going to be protected from scratches. And you've also got this uh, lip that runs around the front of the case. If it does run face down on the screen, that's going to offer some protection there. All four corners are nicely protected. So for the first case I've tested, I can't complain too much. There's a uh, look clock where that's where they uh, they kind of push the uh, the gel uh, into the uh, injection molding process. That hasn't been cleaned up properly. I'm sure you can get that off. And the uh, the volume buttons uh, don't line up perfectly. But again, it is a it is a first generation case. So uh, one worth considering if you just want to protect your uh, your phone until you can get something of higher quality. If you're interested in Nexus 4 case reviews, I'll be reviewing plenty more cases over the next few weeks. So subscribe to my channel, I'll keep you updated on those. If this video has helped, if you could like it on YouTube, it would be much appreciated. Any questions, ask below.